You ready? You ready? Oh boy! Translating a graph with function notation. Yeah. Here's our function. That's our f of x. f of x is the function formerly known as y. Anytime we see the f, we're gonna think y. When we see x, we think x. What's next? Our function looks like this. We are gonna dilate and translate this guy. First, let's just look at the x's. Boom. That means I'm gonna take my my new function g of x is going to have four times whatever x was. What? That doesn't do what you think it does. That's a shrink. Huh, you need a shrink. What are we doing? We're taking all of our x's and 4x is our new x. So then 4x is equal to a minus 8. Great. Wait. What's our new x? Our new x is gonna be a minus two. This is shrinking things. So minus two zero is gonna be on there. Minus two zero is on there. Then what? Here, my, here four x is equal to a minus four. Sure, because that's my x value. So what's my new x value gonna be? My new x value is gonna be a minus one, fun. So minus one, four. Did I change the y? I didn't. That says nothing about y. We're talking about x. Yeah. So here, zero, boom, 4x is equal to zero, so x turns out to be zero. That point remains on there. This one, 4x is equal to four, so then x is equal to a uh, one. So then x is one, boom, didn't change the y, still a deuce. Now I'm looking here. Here, 4x is equal to 8. And then x turns out to be 2. We're finding our new points with this function notation. We're in the interior of the function, so we're looking at x. And here our new x is 2. So 2, 4 is on there. 2, 4 is on there. And then we can make that graph. Boom, 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 boom. And then that's what uh, g of x looks like when g of x is equal to f of 4x. That guy. Let's go get another one. I'm going to give you a second to write that down. One. Haha. <laughs> so let's get rid of this. Next. In the next example, what are we looking for? Haha. <laughs> Serving you up some math. Shall we? Math. Boy. This says we're going to alter the x, boom, set all the x's, equal to an x minus 2, and find the new ones. I guess you could short step it and add 2 to both sides, but whatever. Now, f of x is the function formerly known as y. That's what I was trying to instill right there. So, what are we going to do? We're going to take 1 half y plus 4. Sure. So we're going to take half of y and then add 4 to it. Let's go and get to it. Let's find our new x. x minus 2 is equal to a minus 8. Great. We're translating this point so we can change this function into g. So then g, I see my x is going to be a minus 6. But wait, there's more. Since I have 1 half y plus 4, I can go and I can do that there. That's 1 half 0 plus 4, which is equal to uh, 4. So my new x is going to, oh, my new point, my new point is going to be minus 6 and 4. Let's look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 4. There it is. Should have had another color, but here we are. Now, let's translate this one. That says, that says, x minus two is equal to a minus, whoa, four. Am I changing x? That's equal to a minus four. So our new x is gonna be a minus two. What's our y? One half y plus four. Our y is a minus four, so that's one half a minus four plus 4 minus 2 plus 4 is 2. So our new point is minus 2 and minus plus 4, 2. Sure. 
This science got me all goofy there. So then minus two and two. When we're making this translation. All right, let's translate this point. I've got x minus two is equal to zero. So then x is equal to two. Now, I have one half y plus four, whatever y was. That's one half a minus four plus a four. Wait, wait, wait. Certainly it is because they have the same y value. That's a two. So our new point is two comma two. Two, two. <laughs> what does a ballerina wear? This is two and two. Ooh, that's our new point right there. Now we're translating that guy right there. So x minus two is equal to four, and x is equal to two. That's our new x value. One half y mm, plus four. One half y plus four is what we're using to translate that. But what's, what's our y? It's two. So that's one half two plus four is five. So our new point is two, five. I don't work these out ahead of time. If I made a mistake there, comment down below. So then here we go. That's a, a two and one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Well, that ain't right. It was... What are we translating? This one? No, this one. Oh, look at that. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't freaking, just, did, did, did. no, no, that should have been a four. Yeah, sure, because we were translating that X then. This turns out to be a, oh, up there. <laughs> Ignore that. This was right. That was not. Six. Boom. That's a six. Boom, you were so happy with your keys. So then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and five, one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Now I'm on tilt, because I don't think I have enough ticks for that last one. Let's translate that. X minus two is eight, great. So then X is equal to 10. Then we're looking at, can you see this? Yeah, you're good. So then one half four plus four. So that's two, that's six. Yeah, so then our new point there is um, 10 and six. So then 10 and 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, boom. So if we're translating this g of x, which is one half of the previous f of x shifted right to and up four, it's going to look like this guy. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it has the same basic shape, but it's squished, shifted, and shifted again. One more. This time we're not going to find all those points. Boom. Pardon me. I'm clearing the table. For the table dancers? Oh my god. Drake, we're trying to do right and cover everything. One more. Ready, 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 ready. Oh boy, that's left two, because it goes opposite the way you think. That's up three, and then that's flip it. That takes all your Y's and flip it. So, 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 so. We're going to take our y and flip it, but it's at zero, so we're going to stay there. And then we're going to shift that left two units. One, two, boom. And then we're going to go up three units. One, two, three. We put a dot. Boom. That's going to be our new point for there. Now, we're going to flip this. We're going to flip the y value, so the y value is going to be four. Yeah, that's the flip on the outside. And then we move left two units and up three units. So from this point, we go left. One, two, and up, three. One, two, three, boom. And that's gonna be 
that point. Then this one, we flip it across the x-axis because it's the opposite of y. That's what the minus does over there. It takes the opposite of y. So we take the opposite of y, that's gonna be four, all right? And then we shift that left two, one, two. And then we shift that up three, up three, one, two, three, boom. And that's our next point. Okay, now this one, we flip it. It was a positive two, now it's a negative two. Flip and move, so we flipped it. Then we go left two, left two, boom. And then we go up three, up three. So we go up three from there, one, two, three, boom. Okay, that's that new point. Yeah. We've got four points down, one left to go. Flip it, it was y is equal to four. Now it's y is equal to minus four. And then we go left two units, one, two. And then we go up three units. So then we go up three units. And then bam, that's our new point. We could check them all algebraically, but if we were looking at this C, boom, 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 it's our original graph flipped upside down, shifted left two, boop, 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 and up three. <laughs> We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.